Ladies and gentlemen, this is Smash My Foot. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Beautiful Joe. We're on part five now of our video series, and we're starting episode three of this playthrough called Two Million League Under the Sea. A pretty obvious play on 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Uh, let's go ahead and just get right into it. Let's get it on! Now we get the let's get it on. <laughs> Last time I thought I was going to say that, I just said move on. Yep, this is the unexpected shmup level. So here, instead of punches, we've got normal laser shots. And yes, the VFX powers do affect this. There's still only one hit each, though. And then the kick button is bombs, which are affected by VFX slow. Uh, if we activate zoom, we can actually do a drill attack. Go forward and such. So, I uh, one... Ow. Oh. One thing that's a little different with this is we're not in the usual, uh, we're not dodging in the usual sense here. Since we've got the full use of the 2D plane, uh, we can go just about anywhere. And that means that uh, I've got some getting used to. I've never been good at this level. <laughs> I've already taken two hearts worth of damage. Um, so yeah, not, uh, not doing as good as I had hoped, but that's okay. Takes it back to the good old days of those uh, side-scrolling shooters like Radius. I was never a huge fan of the side-scrolling ones. Usually, uh, the ones that I liked were the vertical shooting ones like Giga Wing, for example, where you scroll upwards. Ikaruga is another one that I played a bit. Not necessarily good at them, but it's the one that I would play quite a bit. These enemies are very annoying because they can hide in the foreground and dodge your shots. And you noticed that a little earlier in part three of our Let's Play. They showed up towards the beginning of uh, some like a red hot. Notice they also have jetpacks this time around, which means I can't use VFX slow to bring them out of the sky. I'm just gonna have to camp this guy. You notice I can't shoot left, <laughs> so all I, all I can do is just shoot these little missiles and hope it brings them down. Got him. Oh, we're getting into the commando enemies now. These guys are uh, going to be huge pain when we fight them on foot. And they get to actually do multiple hit combos instead of just hitting once or twice. Oh, now I got infinite VFX meter. We can actually use mock speed to go rapid fire. Which is nice. Slow makes it easier for us to dodge. Yeah. This power-up right here that gives the infinite VFX meter doesn't show up too often in the game, so it's always a treat when you do get access to it. Man, how many old-school shooters would be easier if you could uh, slow down the camera and the gameplay any time? <laughs> Oh, and there's a real meal. Perfect. Get us back to full health. Now, if you notice these uh, shots that I can shoot out, they get bigger at the long further distance they go, so getting point blank isn't going to actually do too much for us with our shots. If I want to do full damage, I have to back off. Not much, mind you. Just a little bit. You can kind of see how it gets bigger over time right here. Alright, and I just got another segment to my VFX gauge. Now these tiny little missiles I can't actually shoot, so I just have to dodge them. Alright. Let's take these guys out. Another one? Heck yeah. And an extra life. You know, this stage isn't as easy, isn't it never been easy for me, but I'm not complaining at this point. We're getting a lot of good stuff. Let's turn these missiles in our favor now, shall we? Alright. 
I know it's a question mark in the bottom right. It means we have to reach the end. Here we go. Now we get to fight a jet. But we got a jet of our own, so it's not so bad. You notice we also have the slow mo dodge uh, in effect in this, or with Six Machine as well. You just kind of barrel roll into the Ford Brown. Let's go ahead and move under him here. I'm using VFX slow so he can't shoot us. Ow. Stay mobile, let's stay mobile. Missiles, perfect. We can turn these against them. Listen to that damage, it's a beautiful sound. See that look at the health bar just melt away, it's a beautiful sight. Let's use VFX slow to slip between his offense. Perfect. Zoom in, get the bonus damage. Look at that, two bombs just took off the whole health bar. Ow. Collision damage, never fun. Now, collision damage, but I'm referring to when an enemy just touches you and deals damage. That's really common in lots of older games. Thankfully, there's not too much collision damage in this game, as long as there's not spikes and stuff. But I guess for the 6 machine level, they had to simplify things. And that's one bogey down. I love Joe's enthusiasm. Alright, we can't slack off now because there's V canisters we have to pick up. And I already missed some. <laughs> That's okay, that means I don't have to worry about getting the full meter this time around. Since there's only barely enough canisters for you to get one full V meter. And we're all ready to the save power up stage. Perfect. Well, I didn't get quite enough beautiful, so like quite enough currency to uh, buy the Ukemi, which is the next thing on my list. Um, you know what, I think I'll leave things alone. It looks like we're doing pretty good thus far. I have a good amount of health. The next life extension's not too expensive, so we can pick that up whenever. Let's focus on getting the Ukemi. I think I'll get the chance to buy uh, some power-ups before the boss. So hopefully I'll be able to earn enough before we get to the boss, uh, which is that kind of shark-looking fellow that you saw a silhouette of earlier. And we'll... Yeah, we'll be fine. Anyways, so I'll go ahead and just do a quick save here. And save. 